Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt here with Acoustic Selection. Hope you're having a great day. With this video, I want to go over the six steps to learning guitar. Six steps to take someone who's never touched a guitar, knows nothing about the instrument, how they can use these six steps to start playing the songs they hear on the radio in a church or wherever. The first thing is, the first step is to learn how to hold the guitar. Um, if you're a beginner, you might want to find a thinner guitar because it's easier to kind of see down the neck and see the base of the guitar. So the first step is just learn. What I'll do is just sit a place where my leg is higher than my waist. Because if you're not, the guitar dumps out. So you want to get in a place, any kind of seat where your leg is higher than your waist. And then get in a position where you can kind of lean the guitar back to see what you're doing here. Because you're going to have your arms sitting on the base of the guitar. And you need to have your hand in a position where you can take it up and down and see what you're doing. And then with holding the pick, you want to have your pick and take your thumb straight across it. And then have the back of your finger just do whatever's comfortable. Whatever can... You don't want to hold the pick too tight, but you want to get in a position where you're comfortable. And you can look and see your guitar, kind of lay it back a little bit and see what you're doing. So that's the first step, learn to hold the guitar. The second step seems kind of funny that it, be, it would be a step, but you want to make sure your guitar is in tune. No matter how great of a guitar player you are, if your guitar is not in tune, you're not going to sound right. What I recommend is getting an electronic tuner. And what that does is you go through and you can go to each string and it'll tell you, like, as, that, as that line is red there, it'll tell you to tighten or loosen the string. So that you get just a green light then you know you're in tune also there are many apps on the uh, smartphones so first step learn to hold the guitar second make sure your guitar is in tune the third step is learn your first chords now I'll put a link uh, at the bottom here in the description Matt McCoy first four chords because I recommend learning the G C E minor and D these four chords are used in so many songs and rather than do them tricky ways like many teachers teach I recommend doing the way I teach because it gets you a familiar song fast and there's not as much movement in your hand you're not doing crazy stuff up and down the guitar you're just moving your top two fingers so there's your third step is learn how to form the chords it's going to be a really really tricky step that third step because you don't have the muscle memory yet Trust me, you'll get better over time, but you got to learn that muscle memory of where to put your fingers and how to move them. The fourth step is strumming. Strumming is going to be tricky too, but the keys start out with just down strums. So once you learn how to form the chords properly, start out just down strums. If you get more advanced than that, maybe add some upstrums. You'll hear me say if you've watched any of my other videos, strumming is about timing. So many people say, what is the strumming pattern? Always, always remember, it's not about a pattern of up and downs, it's about timing. How long do I stay on that chord before I advance to the next chord? You can see the timing there. It's the same of, as if I'm going like this. It's two beats per chord. So more than your down, down, up, down, up, down, down, all that, think about the timing. So we have the first four steps, holding the guitar, tuning the guitar, learning to form chords, then strumming. The fifth step is knowing which chords go together. Now the, the, the first thing I would tell people is to just do a simple Google search. Find the song you want to do, let's say it's um, 
Chris Tomlin, um, Holy is the Lord. I would simply Google Chris Tomlin, Holy is the Lord chords and look up the chords and see the patterns. If you want to write your own music, know that in a certain key, certain chords go with that key. For example, if I'm in the key of G and I'm playing G, C, E minor, and D, I'm not going to randomly throw in an F and an A minor and a B7 and a A7. You're, there are certain chords that go in a certain key, and if you stray, stray away from those, it's not going to sound right. So particularly when you're writing your own music, as long as you stay with, let's say the, again, the key of G, and I stay within those four chords. within a set of chords so that's key for beginners to know and that's why you can learn just a few chords and play so many songs because what you'll do is you use what's called a capo c-a-p-o a capo and let's say you learn those four chords but all of a sudden you somebody else is playing the piano or singing in a different key and you need to change it you can just put this capo on a certain fret and you see the sound is different put it down anywhere up and down the neck to change the key. You're playing the exact same thing with your fingers, but the capo is changing the key. That's why this is a great invention to help so many people. So there's your fifth step, learn which chords go together. The sixth and final step is one that goes from to infinity and beyond, as Buzz Lightyear says, and that is advance your playing. This can be num done a number of ways. It's just learning how to put things in songs to make it sound a little more advanced. It might be... It might be a hammer-on. It might be walking in and out of a chord. It might be a little intro. Might be a bass drum. You can learn all different kinds of scales or lead-ins. You can learn variations of different chords. Let's say that's a G. We're gonna do a bar chord. That's a G. Play an E or a power chord E. Could do switch up the strumming and you can see the opportunities are just endless so there's your six steps learn to hold the guitar learn to tune the guitar learn to form chords learn to strum learn which chords are grouped together and then the sixth and final step Practice ways of advancing your playing, adding scales inside the chords, in between chords, learning different strumming patterns, learning intros, hammer-ons, uh, hammer-offs, that kind of thing. Um, but just work on that. Hope these help you guys. Subscribe if you haven't to the channel. Message me with any questions you have. I'll get back with you as soon as possible. We can all learn the guitar and praise the Lord because that's what it's all about. Hope you guys have a great day. God bless you.